Amagat's model. Well, we had Dalton's law of partial pressures. There's another one of partial volumes. Some people would call it Amagat, some people not, but it assumes that each mixture component behaves as an ideal gas as if it existed separately at the same pressure and temperature. So the volumes are different. So think about this, if I have my volume here and it's made up of, I don't know, nitrogen and oxygen, try to color code them so you can see. And I'm going to, in a thought experiment, split them into such that I have in one container only the red, but the container has to be at the same pressure and the same temperature as what it started at. So what's going to be different? The volume is going to be much less. And then another container, that's, I'm showing it too big, let me make it smaller, which will be filled with the blue, and the blue is at the same pressure and the same temperature, but the volume will be less, and what we find is the total volume is equal to the sum of the partial volumes. So Dalton gave us a concept of partial pressures. Here's another one. It's a partial volume. All right. What's the use of this description? Well, let's try and work through this a little bit. But if I said that, um, <clears throat> uh, recall from Dalton, one of the big things from Dalton's law is that the pressure of component I is equal to Y sub I times P total. Remember that? Okay. How about this one? The volume, the partial volume, is equal to Y sub I times V total. You can get the similar result here. <clears throat> You're just going to use the ideal gas equation. Okay. So uh, let's do this. Um, if I have, let me try and just reestablish this result right here. What is um, uh, P B I is equal to N sub I R bar T? Does that make sense? And then we have also that P V total is equal to N total R bar T. True? So. I take the first equation and divide it by PV. And on the right-hand side of the first equation, I divide it by NR bar T. So I, I divide it by this part, then that part. They're equal parts. So what we do is we can cancel the R bar T's, the pressures. And we're fi we find that Y sub I is equal to V sub I divided by V. Or rewrite it just like this. 